everyone and welcome back to our very first hardcore Minecraft world. In the last video we built this windmill and we expanded our crop fields. We also found an ocelot and a parrot but we didn't have the stuff to tame them. But this episode I want all the cute jungle pets. Hopefully we can get parrots and ocelots but most importantly of all I want pandas. They're my favourite mob and I want to make a panda sanctuary. It'd be so cute. So before we go out looking we need seeds for the parrots and we need fish. Oh we don't have many for the ocelot. And for the pandas we need bamboo which we have heaps of. The animals we saw were over there across the sea so we'll go that way. Well, so far I see no sign of any animal. Am I the only living thing here? I see iron. Not what we're after, but I'll always take it. What's this weird hole? I don't think it goes anywhere. We're already getting off track. Somebody needs to keep me on task here. Let's go this way. Oh, this jungle's really dense. Hello, lovely cows. Did you hear that? Probably not, but I did. I heard a parrot. Where is it? I want the parrot. Hello. I heard it again. I keep hearing it. Oh, it's right there. It's a blue one. Oh, it's very cute. I've never had a parrot this color. I'm feeding you. Where are you going? Stop leaving. Oh, it worked. We're friends. We're friends and I love you. Can you get on my shoulder? On. Yes. Ah. Oh, are you making zombie sounds? Oh. <gasps> That was a creeper sound. You made a creeper sound. I thought I was gonna die. I'm having second thoughts about the parrot. My heart is beating so fast. Okay, I think we're gonna take the parrot, but we're gonna put it not too close to our house. Anyway, let's keep looking for other animals. Melons. You know what? We should probably plant some of these. They're very aesthetic for a jungle base. I don't see any ocelots or any more parrots though. And no pandas either. Let's keep going over this way. Oh goody, I think we've hit, yep, we've hit the Woodland Mansion. We found this in our first episode, but I don't want anything to do with it yet. Too spooky for me in hardcore just yet. Oh, I see a parrot again. It's a white one. These ones look like cockatoos. Hello. Be my friend. Please. Wait, are you actually not going to? I might run out of seeds. This is crazy. Oh. I did run out of seeds. Uh, but I want you. Yeah, take these three. <gasps> Yay! Can I have you on my other shoulder? Is that a thing? It is! Look at us! I love it! Okay birds, let's get you away from here. It's far too dangerous a place for little birds to be. <gasps> is it not so? Those little pixels right there. <gasps> Look at that. We gotta get it. Come on birds. I think it'll come to me if I have fish. I don't know where it went though. Shush birds. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's a chicken. Yeah, kitty kitty. Oh, I see it. Okay. Will you come to me? Hello. Oh, you fell. Slowly. Okay. Yes. Okay. And now I don't think you're tamed. No, I can't make you sit, but I can put you on a leash. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, come with me. Okay, we're nearly at the ocean. It's a bit of a mission making sure you're all still following me. And I'm not even sure which way home is now. Okay, this deserves a screenshot. You in there. And me. Oh, this is excellent. And here we go. Oh, it's kind of pretty at night. All right, for now, you are a boat cat. So you stay right there. And the birds can go somewhere up here. Oh, maybe in the greenhouse for now. Here we go. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, and we were also going to use these to get some melons going. I think we can put them kind of up here between the wheat field and the windmill. So like maybe one here. And a couple more over here. And we'll get them started. Yay! It's kind of minimal, but it'll be cute. Now, we still have one animal left to find, and that is pandas. They most commonly spawn in these bamboo areas, so we shall go over there. I actually have a few panda-related goals for today. One is to find or breed more than one type because there are quite a few different personality types of pandas. My second goal is to make a home for them and third goal is to feed them cake. That one should be pretty easy and pretty cute. So far all we're finding in this biome is sheep. Wait, are you serious? Look at you, oh my gosh. Oh, you're a normal type panda. Oh my gosh, you're so cute, what are you? 
your normal two. Oh, and they make little snuffling sounds. Okay, since these two are so close by, but they're both normal personalities, I think we'll keep going a little further. We'll see if we can get any more types and we'll put those ones up on the way back. I'm feeling lucky. Ah, we found a like snotty sick one. I don't even know what they're called. Look at it. It's got these little teary eyes and a snotty nose. Are you unwell? Have some bamboo. <gasps> they're so cute. Okay, somehow we have to find our way home now. I don't think these guys can go on a lead either. No, you can't. All right, come over here. And so we very, very slowly made our way back to the other two pandas and then home. Our new friends are in a hole. Don't worry, they like their hole, but we're also going to make them something even better. An entire enclosure. And we can use this piece of land, which is right behind our windmill. It already has water on two sides, so we mainly just need a wall here and over there. So let's start with that. We'll go down here all the way to the water. And this side of the wall can go like so. For the walls, we're gonna take inspo from what we did over here. So we have this oak birch sandstone gradient. The new challenge is that this is all straight across, but our new one's on a bit of a slope. We'll do some testing here. I think what we've got going on here will work well once we've got some details in it. Let's try making some fences and maybe trapdoors. So we've got fences for the windows. Then we'll make a little plant pot with leaves. Oh, is that kind of weird? Maybe the whole thing should be signs. And for the top, we'll go stair, stair, slab, slab, and trapdoors along here. And a lantern. Oh, this is looking a lot prettier now. We might need a little bit more dark oak though. So I'm going to do a bit of collecting and then we'll finish the wall. Wow, that wall took quite a while. I kept running out of dark oak and had to go collect more. But anyway, it's all done on every side. I think it was worth it. And the entrance is actually through the windmill. So we go in this door here. And I think we'll turn this into a kind of zookeeper caretaker room. Basically with all the supplies and storage for taking care of pandas. And then of course on this side we have our actual panda enclosure. I think this is looking cute. I can't wait to get the pandas in. We've got a few different decorative items in here. We got some melons. We got drip leaf and some flowers and leaves and rocks. Oh, and I added podzil as well because I noticed that's in the bamboo parts of the jungle. Also, we have a lot of bamboo. I don't even know if we have enough in here. They need a lot of bamboo to breed. But before we bring them in, I want to decorate this room. Let's start by dealing with the floor and the roof. I say the roof because we never actually had enough copper to finish the back. But one thing at a time, let's make a floor. The floor is in and now for the ceiling. We'll go in here and down our copper mine, which is this one. Wow, it's been a while since I, whoa, that was really fast. We've already got copper. We might need a little more, so I'm going to keep going. So we got the copper, we smelted it up and we finished the roof. Now to decorate the interior, I think we'll leave these hay bales, but let's plant some panda related things. So basically bamboo and we'll section it off with trapdoors. Next, for more panda storage, I think we'll have barrels. We'll do some against the wall and some in just little piles. Maybe we'll pop one of these out though and add a shelf. And then we can have some more shelves here with some greenery. So we've got this side for bamboo, but pandas like to eat one other thing. So we can make a table of that here. We'll have a crafting table to help us make it and then barrels to store the ingredients. And then we place the item. It's cake. So we've got one there and one here. Oh, and I'm hungry. Perfect. There's still a lot of space in the middle here, so we might try and make a table. Now to finish it off, I think we'll just grab some clay for pot plants and some iron for lanterns. 
It's done, it's looking very nice, and now everything's ready for pandas. So I went ahead and brought them in. Look at them enjoying their new home, they're so cute. I even have a cake, let's try and give it to the sick one. How do we, wait, do we actually have to throw it at them? Oh, it worked. Are you gonna eat it? Oh, look at you. But anyway, three pandas is not really enough for this big area of land, so I wanna breed them. Maybe if we breed them enough, we'll even get a new type of panda. They made a baby. What kind is it? It's, I think it's a normal one. Yes. I think we'll just wait for the little one to grow up and then we'll do a little bit more breeding. A little breeding turned into quite a bit. I would say we've got about 30 pandas at this point. However, as you can see, they're all normal or sick ones. Oh, look at that. But so far with the breeding, the only interesting thing we had is a normal panda plus a normal panda produced a sick one. But that's kind of annoying out of all the recessive genes that it could have been. Anyway, we set out to do what we wanted to and we got a lot of these cuties. I think that'll be all for today. So thank you so much for watching and please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.